What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's given me a discipline, it's given me something to die for. What does it take? What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's given me a discipline, it's given me something to die for. What does it take?
wasn't for boxing, God knows where I'd be right now. What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it a top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? If it wasn't for boxing, God knows where I'd be right now.
what does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take?
What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, and it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. 
It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's given me a discipline, it's given me something to drive for. What does it take?
Guys, I'm going to go through this, take a lot of courage for all the boxers to get outside this ring, so please can we show our appreciation for every boxer who does stand in this ring tonight. So hello, good evening and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's guys. So hello, good evening and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's So hello, good evening and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Up Home Show. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So I'm gonna be talking about all of you. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. So hello, good evening, and welcome to JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's. Coverage 
of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's coverage of the day. So hello, good evening, welcome to the GTV Live's
Hey guys, we do have two vehicles that are blocking uh, uh, vehicle exit. Uh, so this is a Castai AM14DEV and we have a white, uh, grey white PRWL S13 YMT. Please the front of YMT. Please take the front of your vehicle and please move on. Eurojack Scotland, please make your way up to your Judy's banner just at the side of the bar. You've got a great opportunity there. So, the sponsor of this bout, please make your way to the Judy's banner up there. That's where we'll get the focus. Okay, guys, the result of this contest due to an RSC, your winner in the blue corner. Yeah, that's nice one! The piece of the place for Adam as well, guys. The boss will just make your way up to that corner there. We'll get the trophies and we'll get the pictures and that taken up there.
Open eyes to me, have a mix. Boxers, enter the ring, please. <laughs>
And guys, hopefully we'll just test it, see if the sound is working. Sorted. There we go. Uh, there ain't no problem I can't fix. Especially when somebody trips out your wire or ruts out the socket, uh, you have to go phone specialist and try and sort the sort the problems. What else I need to fix? Oh, where's my background? And three, two, one. There we go. So back in the ring for round number two. This is bout number three. Uh, shout out to everybody that, that dropped me a message. Uh, my cousin, Paul Beer, watching the stream. I'm too nervous for this. So this is bit number three, Mohammed Dean Khan and Kiawa Brown from Glen Rothes. I've seen Kiawa uh, box at his, his home show. Uh, great wee boxer, great wee attitude, but Mohammed Dean Khan definitely has a few supporters in this crowd. There we go. So, alright, that was three rounds up. There's nothing more stressful, I'll tell you now, than... Somebody trip now, your, your sound. <laughs> Don't mess with it. Um, so guys, how you doing? I was at the GBs earlier, we're now at the Dury's Boxing Club Home Show. And we're just about to find out who won. About number three, so we'll pass to Darren Stewart, uh, who is our ring announcer this evening. Hey guys, we're going to have the sponsor, Up to the panels up there for the opportunity. Okay, guys, the winner of this vote and the blue corner, Kawa Brown! Thanks for appreciation for you, Mohamed Dean Khan as well, please. That's a four one spot decision. You got there, guys, you get a foot picture. So we're done to Kiawa Brown, picking up the one there. You go back to Glen Rothes happy, shout out to all the Glen Rothes team. The usual suspects, the Thompsons, Nicola Thompson, Jay Thompson. So this is bout number four. Um, I don't know if you caught me earlier, but when music's playing, we're going to dip the sound just ever so slightly, um, just to... Make sure we're not breaching any of uh, YouTube's uh, copyright rules. So this is Killer Lynch and Blossom We Up. So guys, you're watching GTV Live's coverage of the Dury's Boxing Cup Home Show here at the Grosvenor Hotel in the West End of Glasgow with me, Jim Alexander O'Neill. This is bout number four. So go about number four, round one. 
Kayla Lynch in the red corner for Duries. And Boston Weir from Dune Hamers. We Bossom's had a busy day. She was at the the GBs uh, watching on earlier today, as was I. Sorry, I did see we boss him using that ring space well, taking the, the step back just when she needs to. Make it difficult for, for Kayla just to, to land on those jabs. So whilst uh, we're back in action and we can see everything and hear everything, uh, let's have a look at what we've got. Oh, <laughs> no, he's going to have to wait for this. We had to reset uh, a lot of stuff uh, to get the sound back online. I'm not having a good day, is it? Especially when my cousins are not watching it, it's embarrassing. So we will get the... So there you go, that's what we've got coming up. So we're currently in bout number uh, four. And uh, next up will be Ross Mineo, Lewis Agnew, or King Geek versus Duries. <coughs> we'll go back into bout number four, Kayla Lynch and Blossom Weir. Your referee, Mr. Jim Smith. Shout out to Kieran Kelly who's watching online. If there is any other sound issues, let me know in the comments. I know a lot of you are watching on TV. That doesn't mean you can't get out your phone and click like or subscribe. Uh, also details in the description if you want to support JTV. You can subscribe on Facebook at JTV Live. Follow us on Instagram, JTV Live. And if you're on that Twitterings, get on the Twitter or not. JTV Live. Final 10 seconds of round number two. So guys, JTV Live Scottish Boxing Year Awards, Friday the 20th of July. Tickets are available at jtlive.com forward slash tickets. Uh, shout out to our main event sponsor, AWH Boxing, and all of our award sponsors. We've got Amarama Co, Southside Boxing Academy, Kelvin Bank Commercial Services, 365 MOT and Service Centre, Armstrong Angel Trust, uh, Anne Armstrong uh, runs that, that charity, she's in the, the blue corner, uh, the coach, and Premier Socket. You can email jamie at jtvive.com if you want to be one of our sponsors. We are looking for another uh, five or so spaces. And uh, shout out to Total Tranquility and Pro Energy Supplements who are JETV Live sponsors so there throughout the year the logos um, will be featured in my live streams back in the ring for round number three third and final round for bout number four Yes, 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 yes,
Final 10 seconds of round number three. Well done, both boxers. We'll go straight in the ring with our official announcement with our MC for this evening, Darren Stewart. You guys can please show our appreciation for both our boxers in the ring this evening. Also come in the house, the sponsor, Cedar Road Bistro, up at the Fupo area, to get the purple and give out the presentation. Okay guys, once again, as it's an exhibition, the Rotorman and Stroh Horns are showing appreciation to both these magnificent boxers. So that was an exhibition, non-scoring bout. Well done to both boxers. Um, it didn't say that on the card. So, <laughs> so what a surprise for me, I must have missed it at the beginning. So next stop. Let's have a look. Uh, Ross McNeil and Lewis Agnew. And Zach Whaley and Patrick Pollock. Josh Gardner. And Dean Daleshead, Joe McClure, Ryan, Jack Jones, and then Rehan Freed and Ryan Weld. And then the there'll be an interval. The So uh, tomorrow we'll be back at the um, GBs, it's Boxing Scotland are hosting it, the three nations, Wales, England and Scotland. I was accused of being biased today towards the the English uh, boxer, um, it must be because of my cousin Paul, it must be rubbing off on me, uh, but I've been accused in the past of being biased towards the Scottish boxer when they were boxing against Ireland, um, so now it's a wee bit of a change. Um, don't take any I say seriously. I don't really know what I'm talking about, or as you can tell, what I'm doing as today's been a bit of uh, one disaster after or not. Anyway, back in the ring. As we await just to do these box up to land. There may be a change to this. Uh, there may be last minute changes to the card. Um, So just bear with me. So I did get one thing right, I noticed there was a Sparta boxer in the ring and there was no Sparta boxer next on the card. So this will be an exhibition bout, Lucas Ewan is boxing William Wrestling from Sparta. So change to the bouts, this should have been bout number 12, it is now bout number 5. Representing 
The referee for this fight is Mick uh, McCannon, all the way up from uh, Welsh Boxing. So he's helping us out tonight, so a big massive thank you to him. This fight is an exhibition fight, fighting 56 kilograms in three one and a half minute rounds. So we got round number two, this exhibition bout. Um, Look at Shuin, he doesn't always have the best um, luck when it comes to, to match making. A lot of uh, boxers pull out last minute. I don't know what the, the issue with this. I think William Retson stepped in possibly last last minute, next few days, last few days. Um, so he could box. So you're watching JT Vibes coverage of the Dury's Boxing Club home show here at the Grosvenor Hotel the west end of Glasgow I would just like to point out um, the referee in the ring I believe is a Welsh referee um, the Welsh team are obviously up for the GBs and um, the, the Welsh referees agreed to come and cover some of the bouts tonight to, to make it a bit easier for the, the Scottish referees which is very very nice some of that stuff you don't always see um, it's not always clear. Referees obviously volunteering their time. Uh, this is Saturday night, so I like Saturday night as well. Around the country. Maybe no in Wales. Uh, so, Kyle McGregor TV. Have you got your own TV channel? Uh, we're about. It's number five of the night, but it should be number twelve on the list. We've we've moved a few bouts about. Final ten settings of round number two. So throughout the night I will be shouting out our sponsors for JT Vibe Scottish Boxing Year Awards. If you do want to come, even if you're not interested in boxing, I mean come for a night out. 
uh, get VIP tables. The set, there's deals on as well. You can get early bird tickets. So there's some of the deals if you want. Seven hundred pound um, for a VIP table rather than eight fifty. You get it now, or you can buy tickets individually. So you go third and final round of this exhibition bout. Uh, you need to remember the exhibition bouts, the boxers won't be allowed to go full throttle. The referee will be keeping an eye on it, no one's allowed to get hurt. Um, so they have to keep that in mind. There is a thin line that they'll be very close to at times that the referee will just make sure that they pull back. So this is the second weekend that was here last weekend for the Antonine uh, Boxing Cup show and what a weekend they had last week. Shout out to Caitlin Kelly who won on a home show and then travelled down for the GBs and picked up the GB Elite title um, and then I've been off line for majority of this week so I missed the, the homecoming, uh, but I've seen the Cups online, uh, you really, really had a, a weekend to remember. So I think you just need to get a statue of Caitlin built, built outside. Uh, so shout out to, to Danny James, John, I've seen John Elliott at the GB's actual, um, and Leo and that, I've seen, I've seen them. Um, and a shout out to the team uh, who looked after me last week. So we're going to pass back to the ring as Danny announces the winner. And the thing is, this was an exhibition bout, so please put your hands together for both the dancers. We put on a fantastic show of boxing there, so good guys. So just going to show again to our our award sponsors. I'm an Armour and Co. Southside Boxing Academy, Kelvin Bank Commercial Services, V65 MOT and Service Centre, Armstrong Angel Trust and Premier Saki. They will each present an award at our award show. Uh, the ceremony being Friday the 20th of July. Tickets are available at jtvlive.com forward slash tickets. Our main event sponsor AWH Boxing we're looking for five more award sponsors Jamie at jtvlive.com for that so guys back in the ring uh, we'll have the bout that we should have had a second ago Ross McNeil and Lewis Agnew Duries vs Alkin Geek we will beat the Alkin Geek show on the 11th of June so look out for us there we are representing Open Lock Boxing Club. Yes, I go! And in your red corner, representing Julie's Boxing Club in Rutherford. Yes, thank you! The referee this evening, representing Will Boxing Club and helping out is Nick McClendon. This is a 51 kilogram bout.
Your round number one. Ross McNeil and Lewis Agnew. Declan Begley, aye, you're the reason I'm coming though, King Geek Show, sure just to do an interview with you. Uh, 11th of June will be there. I'll try and grab some interviews with some of the boxers here tonight, um, maybe during the interval, just to set up. It's a bit tight. So that is um, round number one. Uh, can I just say something? What a, um, a wild day it's been, right? Well, we've had issues earlier with the, the Boxing Scotland stream that we had to resolve. Um, I needed a, a cable that was in my sister's house and ran through. So this wee guy goes to my youth group, say hello. He get up early, get a taxi, went all the way to Renfrew, then all the way to Motherwell, and now he's came here. He's he, he's, a, he's DJing for the the ring announcer. So well done for that, my man. <laughs> go. So go back in the ring for second round bout number six. Ross McNeil versus Lewis Agnew from Orkney Geek. Bout number six on the card, bout number seven of the night. Somewhat of a, a brawler. Um, looks like a good match for Lewis. In the blue corner. Great work there from both boxers. So we've got one more round left for bout number six. Uh, we'll have a look at the, the card. So remember. Oh, yeah, so it's bit number five in the card, bit number six of the night. Next up is Zach Whalen, Patrick Pollock, Josh Gardner, and Dean Daleshead, and then Joe McClure and Ryan Jones, and then Ryan Farid and Ryan Laird at this side of the interval. And you can see there what we've got coming up afterwards. I'm not going to read through it, not enough time. So, as you're watching GTV Live's coverage of the Dury's Boxing Cup Home Show. Don't forget you can nominate your favourite boxer. There's a whole load of categories from novice all the way up to pro. Uh, JTTVLive.com. You can also nominate your coach of the year, club of the year. Here we go, third and final round. Uh, 
Uh, just a shout out to all my family that are watching. My big cousins. Uh, I mentioned Paul earlier, but I think Lee is watching as well. It's our neighbours boxing. And all their friends. Elaine's already messaged me. Shout out to Elaine. Hope he's are doing well. So shout out to the Braveheart Boxing Club. Uh, they've got some boxers on later as well as Noble Art, Shire, Midlovian, Sparta we've seen already, but they'll be back. And Orkin Geek and Argo return. And Queensbury as well. So Cleland's up next as well. So there's a it's like a reunion in here for me. There we go. That is the third and final round. Ross McNeil and Lewis Agnew will go straight to the ring. And we'll see who picks up the one here. There's already suggestions coming in of who it could be. I'm not making any more predictions anymore after uh, the abuse I got earlier. <laughs> And you're winner of this fight with a unanimous decision in the blue corner, Chris Agnew. Once again, please for your appreciation for both process decisions. So I've done it, Lewis Agnew, your teammates for supporting you online. And I'll see you at the 11th of June. I come to the Hawking Geek Boxing Club show. And um, Declan Beckley's already said he'll be getting an interview, but feel free, the rest of you. Guys, Zach Whalen and Patrick Pollock making their way to the ring as my two triple girls go around the outside. I done this at karaoke once. Are we about that? Are we about that Eminem fan song? You know this song? Young people know this. Yes, who's back? Just keep it running, don't stop this track. I don't care what happens, keep it running. We, we at least need to hear the first verse. The officials have gone nuts because it was a dinner show with 16 bouts. It's been a long day for boxing already. So let's go, Zach Whalen getting in the ring. Sherry, I'm top level, but if you want Sherry, this one I'll give you. I've got a bit of a some hard, like in the back, I just jump start my hard, quick, here we go. So we go round number one, about number six on the card. Zach Whalen, Patrick Pollock. Fucking give him some brains. 
That's round number one. Done and dusted, bout number six. Your round number two, Patrick Pollock from Clayland Boxing Club in the blue corner, Zach Whelan from Dury's Boxing Club, closest to us in the red. Out in here, you see the boxers get uh, a bit down, but it's important to, to take the count. It's different for the pros, um, really losing a point. And there we go, go down number two. We go round number three, you're watching JT Grimes coverage of the Dury's Boxing Club home show here at the Grosvenor in the west end of Glasgow, just at the corner of the Barrage Road, if you know it. Across from Orinmore, start naming the pub so my family knows where we are. We get another count as Patrick stands in the neutral corner. The referee restarts his bout. Final 10 seconds now, round number three, and then we'll have a winner for you. But the Kylan Boxer has done greatly. We'll be back after this short advert.
Three days of runner of the fairway, unanimous decision. Facing it to the group corner, back to it, brilliant! Once again, few shooters, appreciation for Zach Brown. And you can just get there to get your pictures and trophy presentation just after the Jordan finals up there. And while we're waiting for those boxers, I'm just going to scoot up a bit. And Blossom, we are, you're going to fire in. Look, how you doing, Blossom? You good? Bad yourself, no bad. Wow, what a long day I've had. But you've equaled a long day, but uh, which I suspect lasted the started before mine. But you came here for an exhibition. Uh, how, how was it? It was. It, I thought it was an amazing fight, and I, I thought I could box technically instead of more like powerful. And I, I was happy with the way it went. I liked it. It's good. Um, Quite a, a tight venue and it's very, it's very busy. It's, it's, uh, it was that feeling to come up to somebody else's home show and then you're, you're entertaining the crowd with them. Uh, where am I going to see you next? Uh, well, I've, I'm, I, I'm currently doing assessments for the GBs, that's why I was at the day and I had to come up to this, but um, that's where I'll be going. But any home shows in between, probably. Uh, How's your mum and dad? Good, they're amazing. Shout out, shout out. They're up there at the back. Your dad here as well? No, yes, mate. He'll be watching. Aye, my mum's here, but he's watching. Um, he's still training four or five days a week. Oh, you know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> um, and in between that, you've got the assessments for the GBs and that as well. Listen, you're doing brilliant. Um, and I can't see what happens next. So it's, it's good. And you got the GBs tomorrow? Uh, no, I, I'm, I've got, I'm in the schools in Wales, two weeks. So oh, no, after you go to watch it? Oh, uh, I, I probably will. But. Right, I'll be there early. I think it's, we're going live at 11 o'clock. Um, let's pass back, because I've, I've got messages with my family's wa waiting for this one. My family's waiting for this bout. Um, Josh Gardner is uh, my cousin's neighbour. So let's pass back in the ring. Today's the boxers in this boat. So I was boss and we speaking to me. We'll pass to Darren Stewart as he introduces both boxers to the ring. Dale Dale's head and Josh Gardner. This is a fifty eight pool boat rounds. And your referee is very lucky. Wow, look at that stare down between the two. So round number one. Uh, De Dean Dale said you're then looking for a, an early start, but you can see already Josh has got that reach and height advantage if he sticks to to his straight jabs. But it can be difficult with amateurs, you, you see the energy is nuts, boxers will just come running um, for you. It's difficult to, to throw that jab when somebody's coming up in your face, but we've got uh, Josh using that ring space well. Don't get caught up against the ropes. So Josh, I know he's got support online, he's also got support uh, in the audience. Uh, Lexi, yeah, we'll be at GB's tomorrow, uh, kick off about 11 o'clock earlier than it was today. 
because um, they just like to, to put the pressure on me. A nice spot girl for, for Josh. But Dean Dale's here using that ring space well. Which is important that this I mean we've seen a bigger ring today at the the GBs, but nice well I think Josh is now finding his rev home. He's, he's moving on the front foot. Pushing Dean backwards, Dean has got his guard up with some of them, so not everything is landing, but it's it's good work girl from both boxers. Um and you'll see like if you're Ramage your boxing bouts, they can't, they're just flipping their head almost sometimes between the rounds, sometimes during them. Okay, what girl the referee just said to grab uh, Dean. So Blossom we are still with me. Um, so I only brought, I left my other um, announcer mic like, at the GBs because I was like, I can't get it all. But what's your thoughts on that? Uh, I, f I thought the, b the boy in the blue's got a lot more energy and he's kind of in for it, and, and, but he's smaller, so he's to work more on the inside, but the tall boy, he, he needs to work more of his jab. He did towards the end, though, start to get in his rhythm. So, yeah, um, sometimes it takes, like, some boxers will take the first round just to suss each other out. That's what I do, like, I suss everyone out the circle. But you don't always have a lot of time. No, uh, have you seen Hannah Rankins here? Yeah, I'm sitting at the same table as her. Oh, are you? Did I not even sell out here? I was trying to look out for. Oh, I see her now, actually. I'll go actually sell out here. Hannah Rankin. Oh my god, that's Hannah Rankin. She's two time, two weight world champion. Um, we've got again Dean from Queensbury in the blue corner. Um, try to put the pressure up, but there you go, look, Josh, finding his rhythm really nicely. And if he just, just get out of the one and not to... He needs to work his jab in his one-two and, and just stay, stay away from... Here we go, that's his... So maybe a wee double jab uh, for, for Josh would just give him that wee bit of advantage, but... Oh, nice shot there. This is the thing with his opponent, his opponent's bouncing around that ring so much. He's slip, he's, he nearly fell at the end of the first round, he slipped a wee bit there. So this is uh, Josh's second bout. Say again. Aye, Josh. Aye, that's what I thought. <laughs> but nice feedback back and forward, I like 50-50 bouts like this where it's especially if he's set if he's saying that I can't imagine Dean said too much more if they're, they're boxing together. Amateur, amateur fights are always good to watch, I think. They always put on a show. Amateur. Federal 10 seconds around number two. So I think it's a, a, close, uh, a close contest. I, I couldn't really mark that in, to be fair. Um, but the energy levels will start to kick in now, innit? Rather them than me. Adrenaline just kicks in the rhythm and your momentum. Sometimes it can go against you. I mean, I've been at um, shows where you get heavyweights that are on last. The crowd really gets behind them, which you think that's what you want. But then after the first round, the adrenaline just plummets. Um, I still think there was er parts of that there. Josh was really finding his rhythm. I think towards the end there, he's going to start feeling a bit. Tad there's Anne, um, head coach, as you come to. To save you. <laughs> Come and save me. <laughs> um, all right, we'll go back in the ring for the third and final round. Uh, Josh Gardner and Dean Dale's head. Um, but I'll let you you go then. Yeah. Um, Boston, thanks for talking to me. I right, I'll catch up with you shortly. It's Boston. We're off in Dune Hamers. We go third and final round for bout number seven on the card.
So don't forget we're recording these bouts separately in full HD. Um, in the next coming days, we'll, we'll get them up online as well to keep them as souvenirs, share with friends and family. Big left to land him, the referee allows the match to go on. Josh still using that ring space well, getting out of the danger zone when he needs to. The tightness will start to creep in and keep those, those arms up. Your, well, let's say me talk like I know what I'm talking about. Your arms are <laughs> getting really tired by this point. So a couple of closing moments at this bout. Nice wee sidestep there from Josh as Dean continues to try and push forward with Josh using those long arms. What I'd maybe like to see next time is maybe Josh just throwing a double jab as well, loading the, the right, or his, his left, um, just throwing a double jab and then following through. I mean, he's got the, that wee sidestep's amazing. You, you see the elites uh, pull that off and he just done it there. Nicely, but Dean's swinging, he's heard that last 10 settings, and that is it. Uh, absolutely great contest there. Uh, we'll pass to Darren Stewart in the ring with the official announcement. This one's our doctor checks over both boxers, but both boxers should be proud of that. First night guys, please show your appreciation to both boxers. Thank you for the sponsor of the boat, RSN Home Improvement. Please make your way to the jury's banner just at the side of the bar. That's where we'll do the uh, trophy presentation. Andrew Whitman of this boat in a four run split decision. In the red corner, Josh Carter! And the boxers and the sponsors, please make their way up to the jury panels just at the side of the bar. That's where we'll do the presentation and the photo opportunities. So I've just got a quick second because Josh needs to go and get his medal. Move up a bit, my man. So, how are you feeling? Who thought about that one? <laughs> was a split decision. I was sitting with uh, Boss and we were, we were sort of, she was here for the first two rounds. And I'd said, like, I think towards the end of the first round, you started to get your rhythm. Um, there was a nice, by the end of the third round, uh, and, oh, we need to press play in the music. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, so I'm, I'm also the DJ tonight, did you see that? Um, so anyway, what I was saying is, by the, the end of the first round you really found your rhythm, by the end of uh, round three, you were pulling off that nice wee sidestep, and, sort of the, and then landing the right, which I see the elites do that, and it's difficult to pull off, especially when you get somebody that's got that energy and jumping in your face, but is that something you've been practising in the gym? Uh, I've been practising my footwork and all that, because I'm a southpaw, you need better footwork for a southpaw. But it was bright, man. I know you're out of breath. You still need to go get your pictures. Who do you want to say hello to? Uh, my dad. Who else? Just my dad. He's on the I've got way. I've got family that are watching. So do you know Lee and Paul Beer and that? Aye. They're my cousins. Aye, aye, sure. So they've been messing with the whole night. Lee Who's Coogan. that laying to you? Lee Keegan. Yeah, it's my it's my big cousin. That's brilliant. I'm going to stop this music one second. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, he's doing that. I so so he's my big cousin. Um, and Elaine, who's Elaine to you? Hey, that's my mum's best pal. It's technically Marty. So she's been messing me as well. She told me I was your setting bout. Um, so I was. I'm going to grab him now for an interview. 
But listen, I'll let you go get your medal and your pictures, my man. Good, great boxing. And don't leave it too long till I see you again, right? They go back in the ring. So I was just catching up. Um, this is Joe McClure and Ryan Jack Jones, bout number eight on the card. Federal 10 seconds of round number one. And while we're here, well, I've got to sit next to us. Hey Lucas, move up my man. What are you saying, gangster boy? Nothing man, how are you? <laughs> well, I'm struggling. Um, and it's, I'm just on water today, that's my proof. That's what I'm drinking. Um, Cause I need to be best behaviour, I need to be up early tomorrow. Uh, we've had a busy few weeks. Um, that was Ireland. Uh, it was brilliant man. I know that with you it was ups and downs because you, your bouts cancelled all the time, last minute changes, even a day. When did when was it decided you're going to be boxing uh, William? Um, it was just on uh, Monday we decided so we couldn't get a match. Uh, we were trying to go down south, but there was no point in getting one boy from down south. And then was, you, you usually would get about three or four, off, a, few, a few on um, for a, uh, when you're coming up here. But uh, we just picked William Neston. It was a good, good match. Uh, definitely, I think I controlled it, but. Definitely, if it was at 50, 57 kilo, I think I would definitely win. So he's heavier than you? Uh, I weighed in at 56 and he weighed in at like 61. So pass back to the ring and out um, for round number two. So round number two, about number eight in the card, Joe McClure, the red corner from a big left there, but uh, Ryan Jack Jones from Queensbury, using that space in the ring greatly, it, oh, that's that's the thing you need to watch though, um, it was a trip, but you just need to watch when you're using all that energy in the ring, you can slip up, there's a risk you're taking. Yeah, so look at Lewis Carothers is watching online. So referee stopped the bout for a second, I think. Uh, he's got to tie his, tie his lace.
to go about restarting. So this is JT Vibes coverage of the Dury's Boxing Club Home Show here at the Grosvenor Hotel. There we go again. Uh, Jack just getting a bit caught up. Sorry, Jim Smith. One star international international one star referee restarting the bout. So I don't know how much of my family were watching, but I think Paul and Lee and Elaine, they were all watching. Uh, but shout out to any mother cousins. I don't want to start going through everybody's name in case uh, they're in their bed. It's very past nine. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Oh, round number three. Um, no, they still what? No, they still. <laughs> I thought I got it wrong. <laughs> I was like, round number two, and I was like, oh, Archie's taking the head guard off. <laughs> Um, aye, so there's one more round left just to confirm. Joe Smith just keeping his right. <laughs> uh, shout out to the Ryan Girls who have been walking as well the, the whole night. <laughs> I just got a wee dirty look for Lucas Ewan there. What, what mate? <laughs> Listen, I've, if I want anybody's number, I'll have that number, don't you worry. Here we go, third and final round. So, final few seconds of round number three. Well done to both boxers, going straight in the ring with Darren Stewart. It is our ring announcer this evening. One more bout left before the interval. Um, they may change that again, I don't know. Or they may have the interval next, because um, we did switch some bouts around. Uh, so, we'll find it in a second. The boat sponsor, BLZ Design, just make the way up to the jury finals at the side of the bar. That's where we will do a trophy presentation and the fourth opportunities. Andrew Winner of this boat. And a young, unanimous decision in the red corner, Joe McCoy! 
Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Larry Jack. Larry Jack joins you. Thank you, Steve Perry. Episode <laughs> 1 of PRZ Design. We're also up to the panels there. We'll get everybody out there to get a perfect presentation. Trophies are going to be out there, guys. Get your photos out there. So, oh, uh, you're watching JTV Live's coverage of the Dooney's Boxing Club Home Show. Uh, Lucas Shun is now doubling up as a DJ as well. Um, saves me for doing it, because that's what I'm hopeless with. This is literally just pressing a button, but it's, that's what I mess up on. Um, so, there we go. So this is going to be about number nine on the cards. Rehan Farid and Ryan Laird. Uh, visit jtvive.com and nominate, buy tickets or for information on sponsorship for JT Vive Scottish Boxing Year Awards. Friday the 20th of July. Uh, my family, if you're still watching, you'll be coming. I'm going to be in touch with that. Um, I'm going to try and get a table, Matty Kate, my Uncle Jim and that. I think you're going to be coming as well. Friday the 20th of July, save the date. Um, when I host the Scottish Boxing Year Awards, our second year. So back in the ring. We had Farid and Riley are from Argo, Argo being Manic in the woods, drummy boys. Your boxers in the ring, fighting out to the blue corner representing Argo Boxing Club, Ryan And Peyton O'Toole, Ray Fowler, representing Jules in Wallaghan. Rehan Fahid! Hey guys, this is a 57 kilograms exhibition bout. Bout. Three two minute rounds of your referee is Billy Murphy. So this will be an exhibition bout um, due to a slight difference in the weight and our officials have allowed for an exhibition bout to go ahead so Rehan can continue to box in front of his home crowd. So, um, Ryan Farid and Ryan Laird. As I say, there's an exhibition bout there. If you'll be keeping an eye, you won't allow them to get too, too aggressive. Um, there's a thin line that boxers try and sail towards. Uh, Gary McArthur and Max McArthur, if you're watching online, how you doing? Um, yeah, I'll be at the Argo show next week. It won't be live because the last time uh, we couldn't get a signal in the, the venue, so. Um, it will be recorded and put out a day or two afterwards. So we'll go one more bout after this and then we will go into the break. 
Um, don't forget you can see clips uh, from today. And I've still, I still owe you some clips for um, Gala Shields the last week. Um, JTV Live, Instagram. You follow her Instagram, innit? You need to grab that, mate. Uh, you follow her Instagram, innit? Ah, uh, of course. You're the best Instagram in the world. Best Instagram in the world. Do you know I was um, that stupid meta thing I signed up for? Like, by accident, signed up for free, pay free accounts. So they charged me £11 three times. <laughs> and I'm like, I had to send my ID in that. I'm going to have probably a wee boy check that I've paid for. Like, I want my money, but I don't want it. So we go. Uh, So within a few seconds of uh, round number two. Uh, so, international star referee there, Jim Smith, saying that he, he fell earlier. I was there saying hi to Hannah Rankin. So, I must have missed it. There we go, nice free exhibition there. There's non scoring, so there won't be a winner.
of the sponsor and the box will just make their way up to the banners up at the side of the bar. We'll get photos and trophies presented up there. So, uh, just as the boxers are making their way to the ring, uh, Lucas wants to give a shout out. Who do you want to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to Ben Graham from Forswood. Uh, he's some man. Is this a, a wider? No, I'm being serious. I want to give a shout out. How do you know each other? Um, through Scotland training. Is it? No worries, I'm mad. Uh, so, now in the ring, uh, Michael McMurrin and Hayden Fairhurst. And then we're going to have an interval. Okay, guys, your boxers in the ring, in the blue corner representing both hearts, boxing club. He's in the first. And in the red corner representing Julian Zagorovin, Michael McMillan. <laughs> the referee for this bout is John Smith. This is a 54 kilogram bout. We have three two minute rounds, it's a junior bout. So you go three two minute rounds. Michael McMillan and Hayden Fairhurst. I know Hayden well, great, great young boxer. Yeah, I know there's a few brave heart boxers watching as well. So you go first round, bout number 10 on your card. Make off to a quick start there. Yeah, so if you are watching online, uh, don't forget to click like. In the coming months, we will be trying out a uh, pay per view which a lot of you will be, be happy about uh, but as of now you get the live streams for free they swuck the off uh, Michael McMillan in the red but he didn't get that guard up Nice three right and left lands in there for Hayden. That's a, a good contest. Finding elements of both of them testing each other out. Uh, but Mike was a lot of energy. And this crowd get behind them. Final few seconds around number one. It's both these boxers really go for it. Nice work there. So details up on the screen, JTV Live Scottish Boxer Year Awards. Tickets are available at jtvive.com forward slash tickets. Ticket prices, uh, £45 for standard ticket, goes up to 85 for VIP. You get a meal and drinks included. No unlimited drinks. 
I keep forgetting my family might be listening in. <laughs> uh, there are table offers available, early bird tables. They're, they're limited once they go, they go. They go back in the ring. We're about number 10 on the card. Michael McMillan from Dury's in the red corner and Hayden Fairhurst from Bayfords in the blue. Yeah, as you're watching JT Vibes coverage of the Dury's Boxing Club home show, don't forget tomorrow from 11 o'clock we'll be live for the GBs, the Three Nations. We've got Wales, Scotland and England competing for the Junior and Youth Championship titles. A lot of good matchups today. A uh, few shocks. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. We've got two rings again. Um, ring one will be in JT live stream. Ring two will be on Boxing Scotland. So I feel like Hayden knows he needs this round. Uh, Michael being a bit calmer in his, his composure. Going for me to do these box up. Boss, we just took the first round. Hayden being busy in this round, trying to land. Some nice shots. Final few seconds around number two. Um, so we've got one more round left and we're going to go into a break. We are deals on the on the Tinder trying to pick up a, a bird in the West End. Eh? <laughs> so one more round uh, left and then we'll go to a break. Hayden Fairhurst in the blue corner and Michael McMillan. And the red for Duries. Don't forget you can nominate your Scottish boxer you're, you're, or the club or the coach. There's 15 award categories, jtvlive.com. So you go third and final round, bout number 10 on the cards. We're five bouts after the break. I'll try and keep the break as short as I can. I know we've all got homes to go to. The energy level is starting to kick in. Has Michael done enough to get this home show victory? Oh, it's Hayden. I'm going to pick up that one. Big shot there landing. Great work there for Hayden. Fairhurst really thrown these loaded left hooks.
Well done to both boxers there. Quick shout out to Pro Energy Supplements in Total Tranquility, who is our GTV Live sponsors. So it's passed back in the ring. So we get the official announcement from Darren Stewart about ring announcer for this evening. Okay, so we have a sponsor, Terry Perrin. Just make the way up to the panels at the side of the panel. We'll do the trophy presentation that are there in photos. And the winner of this bout in a 3 2 split decision. In the red corner, Michael McCann! Can you guys please show your appreciation to Hero Fairhouse? I think we're giving you that was a magnificent bit of boxing. Okay guys, we are going to have a short interval break. So the officials will be taking a short comfort break, I reckon maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, so don't go away too long. Um, I'll switch over to the to the adverts um, and you can you can keep it running. Um, but I'll be we'll be back as soon as I might try and grab some people in between I'm gonna grab something myself uh, quickly. So guys, don't go anywhere, you're watching JTY's coverage of the Dury's Boxing Cup Home Show. Um, and I'll be back, I'll be back soon. What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back in the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to drive for. What does it take?
wasn't for Watson, God knows where I'd be right now. What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back in the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take?
What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it that top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it that top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? Right 
What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, well, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, and it takes a lot of motivation, and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a disappointment, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take?
What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, and it takes a lot of motivation, and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? If it wasn't for boxing, God knows where I'd be right now. What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts and it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's going to be a discipline, it's going to be something to die for. What does it take? If it wasn't for boxing, God knows where I'd be right now.
So guys, welcome back to JTV Live's coverage of the Dunnies Boxing Club Home Show. Uh, boxing still a wee bit away. Uh, the officials are still in a comfort break and need to come back. But Archie Dury is going to announce the he's going to announce the uh, boxers of the year. Guys, two times, please. Hey, guys, this is the first time. My bicycle. Guys, two times, please. This is the first time. This is the first time to break down. Give me two again, please. Hey, guys, I think that's the first time to break down. The bicycle, the morning dance bells, and the Jimmy Boy. Gentlemen, <laughs> Very hard to do, we're very proud of him, and we're very hard to do, he's crazy mental, and we're getting our chance to go up by end of so I've done the votes this year. I've done the votes two times, guys, please, eh? So I've done the votes this year, and this year, this is for the best newcomer, Jim McGoy, the members of the world, and I'll feed it to a boy he's up, so he's seeming a seen boy, he's Frankie Manson. Yeah. 
So um, while they do their half home, we wait for the officials to come back. Um, just want to shout out to Sharon Hilton. Thanks so much for this hoodie. Um, I put it on yesterday. I've still not taken it off. My nephew actually I don't know how to take it back off him. Um, but Sharon Hilton um, does the most amazing ring gear. Um, I think it's Eminem Sportswear. Danny Scully don't need to correct me. So, won't be too long for the officials to come back. I'm gonna let you see what we've got coming up. Um, this is what we've got coming up in the second half. So, MM Ringwell is if you're looking for ring gear give yourself plenty of time because Shanha was very very busy um, but she made me this hoodie gave me as a present last week uh, at the Anthony show what was in here you can watch that back um, I did take a week's break for social media so there is a some a lot of editing that I need to do uh, from tomorrow night so I'll get HD quality of the Anthony show out, and then we'll have the Dury's one out as well and the Gala Shields so I'm going to cut to adverts um, just for the next five minutes or so. Uh, I see the doctor, so I don't think we've got long for the officials to come back.
What does it take for you to step into this boxing ring? It takes a lot of hard work, dedication and the right mentality. You can watch it from your screens and you think, oh, I can do this, this and that, but when you get in there, it's a different story. It takes a lot of guts, it takes a lot of motivation and you need to have the heart to get back to the ring. It's helped me to be more focused, more disciplined, and it's helped me to realise just how much it takes to make it at top level in anything you do. It's given me a discipline, it's given me something to die for. What does it take? So guys, welcome back to the Doody's Boxing Club Home Show. Officials just taking their seats. We are just a few moments away from kicking off. So I'll leave you with the ring cam as the officials get set up.
Tonight we're having just waiting for the boxes and everybody to get settled. I do need to give a special mention once again um, to our judges. Uh, we have Stevie Finnicky and Mick McKinlan. So they have come all the way up from the Welsh Boxing um, Society, I don't know actually, but the country Welsh Boxing just to support the Boxing Scotland and the jury show. All these guys get their time up for free um, to make these shows and if it wasn't for your Boxing Scotland judges and your Boxing Welsh judges, this could not go ahead. So guys, after we can we have for free to show all our judges some appreciation, one, two, three. I'd like to thank you for myself for all the good stuff that's gone on. Go ahead. The highlight of the show is going to be Jim Fawn, that's going to be on YouTube. You shared in Box and Scott on Facebook page tomorrow. So I do promise you no one left, the officials just taking their seats. And these are the bouts that we've got coming up. So Frankie Manson and Jay Black, Jay Stewart and Ryan Barber, Nathan Rodden and Donny McInnes, A. Brenton, Nathan Gilmore. And Jamie Dury and Zach Scarley to top the belt. So boxers make a bit of the ring as we kick off the second half. In the ring, we have in the blue corner fighting out of up in New York Boxing Club with Jimmy Black and fighting out of the red corner representing Jimmy's and Glasgow, Frankie Manson. The referee for this fight is Jim Smith. This is a 55 pound round 
BMFC, Phase 2, Merrick Rains and uh, Junior. So welcome back to GT Vibes coverage of the Dunnies Boxing Cup Home Show here at the Grover Hotel in the West End of Glasgow with me, Jim Alexander O'Neill. And I'm starting to feel like it's been a long, long, long day. Voice is still here. Um, hope it's ready. Hope it gets better for the modern morning. This will be the GBs, Free Nations, Junior and Youth Championships. So Frankie Manson and Jay Black in the ring. Jay boxes out of Auckland Geek Boxing Club. We'll be there on the 11th of June. Frankie Manson, home boxer from Dury. He's big right there, landing from the blue corner. Work there from Jay Black, big swings landing nicely. Again, a bit tangled up there. Jim Smith, make sure both boxers are clear on the rules. Big right there landing from the blue corner. Frankie loosening up a wee bit. J Black just timing those those big shots. Fed a few seconds around number one. So JTV Live Scottish Boxing Year Awards 2023 will be Glasgow Marriott Hotel Friday the 28th of July. Tickets are available at jtvive.com forward slash tickets. You can also nominate for another week. So it'll be then a week today. Nominations will close. Uh, you can nominate your boxing year all levels from novice all the way up to pro. Uh, so shout out to AWH Boxing who is our event sponsor and also Amar Amanco, Southside Boxing Academy, Kelvin Bank Commercial Services, 365 MOT and Service Centre Armstrong Angel Trust and Premier Soccer who are our award sponsors, we're looking for five more if you or your business are interested in supporting us, it's a thousand pound for ten VIP tickets and you get a presented award in all year advertising on JTV throughout 2023 and 24. Round number two now. Get a bit scrappy at times. G did throw that right just, just after. Jim said stop, but you can understand the adrenaline and the noise in here.
Been a few seconds around. Number two. Big shot landing again. Very nice walk there from Jay. Just on the belt. So tickets are available for JT by Scottish Boxing Year Awards. Um, starting at 45 for standard or up to VIP 85. There are early bird discounts on table bookings. And the sponsorship packages are there. However, we are launching JTV live stream uh, sponsor packages. So you can be a logo sponsor, a logo will be kept in all our live streams throughout the year for £100. Video sponsor is 200 a stream sponsor is 300 so if you're a stream sponsor for example then you get mentioned just like pro energy supplements and total tranquility check them out on instagram so you go third and final round of the opening bout to the Second half, Frankie Manson in the red corner from Dury's and Jay Black from Auckland Geek and the blue referee, international star referee, Jim Smith, who's been refereeing all day as well, as is some of the other referees here. We heard that there were some uh, Welsh referees here as well. Down here, G stands in the neutral corner. And referee jumps for free starts his bout. Big left jab there landed again from Jay Black, who's just been executing that perfectly throughout the three rounds. Frankie fires back, dodges a right jab from, from Jay. Jay Landon again, a big right. Been a few seconds, he's Frankie he just finds his rhythm. We close the moment to this bout. Big, big right there lands and we're gonna get another count. It's probably gonna go through the bell. And that's it for this bout. Well done now, both boxers. This pass to Darren Stewart in the ring with the official announcement. Uh, Oliver Lucas was boxing earlier, uh, they, they switched the bout around, um, so he was on bout number five, you need to wind it back, it did become an exhibition bout. So let's pass back the ring with a fish announcement for bout number 11 on the card. That was The sponsor from this bout, Munch Mania, can you make your way up to the bars up there for the signs and that's where we get the trophy presentation done? The sponsor of Munch Mafia, two places up there. And the winner by a unanimous decision in the blue corner, Jesus! Uh, all the boxers, make sure you grab the idea of the to the sponsor, Munch Mafia. We'll get a presentation and trophies done up there and get your pictures taken out. If you do that up there, guys, you'll get your pictures. Thank you. Oh, we've got another picture.
Okay, guys, can I have the next boxers in the ring, please? So where that boat is just coming out, uh, Jay Black joins me now. Uh, Jay, how you feel, my man? Uh, I feel, I'm feeling amazing. That's uh, good. Good feeling, Charles. Um, you ke- uh, for me, you you were relentless through it. You kept that uh, same game plan through it. You were landing big shots, man. You get two counts, one just at the very end. Um, is that what you've been working on in the gym? Ah, uh, it's just a combination of everything coming together. It's just training all the time and my coaches have been amazing all through me training and that so credit to them so I'm going to beat your show it's 11th of June it's not long you're going to be boxing on it I will be I'll be boxing next week yeah it's our home show so, it is, so yeah I'll be on it so that'll be good um, it's going to be a busy night for me because I'm, I'm going to be there I'm going to be doing interviews and filming and all um, any shout outs you want to get anybody that's watching because you did have a few people watching there that was waiting on you uh, just, all the, just the mum and dad that came from my club and stuff and definitely my coaches, my brother and uh, the other wee boy Louie that got a unanimous decision as well from our club so it's just been a, it's been a really good night, a successful night for the club as well. Right my man, listen, Point Boxing, can't wait to see you again, I've seen you in a few weeks yet. Let's pass back in the ring. And by the red corner representing Julie Fox and Club in Wellington, we have Jay Stewart! Okay. Okay. Referee is Mick McCurlin, this is a 3 2 minute round and it's a Junior Cups competition. So about 13 on the card, Jay Stewart and Ryan Barber from Meadowbank. Ryan Barber watches JTV a lot. To go round number one. seconds around number one
So it's row number one of row number 13 on the card. Ryan Barber on the blue corner from Meadowbank and G Stewart from Dury's in the red corner. We have three bouts left after this. Uh, Nathan Rodden, Donny McInnes, A. Brenton, Nathan Gilmore, Jamie Dury and Zach Scarlett to top the belt. So we go round number two. Gino on loads. Ryan trips up, they're not counting it as a knockdown, but the crowd they think it was. But I think I agree it was a it wasn't a knockdown. Normally this time of night, Ryan Barber is on in the comments, um, but today's in the ring. Well, you, you lot up here. Uh, click like and subscribe. I think Jay really starting to find his rhythm here as we go in the last 10 seconds. Round number two. Nice three round there. Go, So I've been trying some of that Pro Energy supplements and I used to drink a lot of Red Bull and do you know what, I love it. I, I left it at home today, do you know what, I mixed it and I left it at home. So you go, third, third and final round, the referee again, both box some friendly advice. If he continue being top of both these boxers. If 
Final 10 seconds of round number three. Both these guys unload a big shot landing. We're going to get a count. And the bell will just sound as soon as this bout is restarted. Well done there both boxers. We'll pass back to Darren Stewart on the ring with the official announcement here for bout number 13. Three bouts left, guys. Don't go anywhere. Big eyes to the sponsor of this boat, Munch Mafia. Once again, just make the way up to the banners up there. We'll get the photo and trophy presentation up there. Once again, guys, please show your appreciation to both these boxers. That was somebody there. And your winner of this bout by a unanimous decision, Jimmy Stewart! I said, if you like the little bit of trophy presentation up at the panels. Hey guys, can we have the next boxers and two of them, please? You have a fight tonight for the Pro Corner. We are presenting the Mobile Art Boxing Club by Donna O'Donnell in the tennis. And in the red corner, we are presenting the Jimmy's Boxing Club in Oregon, Nathan Ryan. We are seeing the last fight of the night, the tennis. This is a 76 kilogram. I will be able to three, two minute rounds. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, well, and Joe Anthony Bout, number 14, Nathan Rodden, and Donny McInnes from the block. Nice opening round there uh, for both boxers. We go into round number two, about 14 on the cars. We've got two more bouts left after this. And here we go again, guys. Friday the 20th of July, Glasgow Marriott Hotels. Tickets available for JTV Live Scottish Boxing Year Awards. You get one more week to sponsor your favourite boxer, coach, club, volunteer. Uh, there's 15 categories to choose from. We also have the Cash for Young Champion of the Year, which goes to, doesn't it be a boxer, just some young person under the age of 25 involved in the boxing community. So let's go back in the ring, round number two Nathan Rodden in the red corner and Johnny McInnes from No Blatt in the blue. Both boxers have a lot of support here. Just want to give another shout out to the, the referees from Wales who have been up refereeing and the GPs have came to referee some of the bouts tonight to help out the officials and referees here. I know a few seconds around number two. Great head movement there from Donny. Nice work. Uh, if you got thoughts on this bout, let me know. Uh, keep your thoughts nice and clean. I've seen a few of the wee cheeky ones coming in there. So this is the uh, GT Vibes coverage of the Dury's Boxing Club Home Show. This is a Western District event. Uh, Amy Fox is asking, wait, wait, that's uh, 76 kg. So still we come up, A. Brent and Nathan Gilmore and Jamie Dury and Zach Scarley. It's the two bouts left. Let's pass back the ring. We got to round number three.
crowd really getting behind these two in the ring. Donnie McInnes, no block in the blue corner. And Nathan Rodden in the red. Big shots landing. Both tough, tough boxers. Final few seconds now around. Number three. So we'll before we go back to the ring for the final for, sorry for the official announcement I'll say that again so guys before we go back in the ring for the official announcement just to give a shout out to Pepe's for delivering our food I'm going to tuck into that in just a moment it's not all for me uh, but here's Darren Stewart in the ring with the official announcement here for about number 14 if you want to make your way up to the bars, you will get a picture and trophy presentation up there and the side of the bar. Okay guys, the winner of this fight with a unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Barry McLeod! I say guys, please uh, munch mafia, make your way up to the banners and um, we'll get the pictures there. <laughs> if the boss will go up and munch mafia, we'll get a trophy presentation up at the banners. Okay hey guys, can I have the next boxers into the ring please? How many left? Two? Really a bit, sir, boo. You can get the pieces, man, I get it sore if you're wrong. And I gave him the juice, it's a bit of a kind of ball. If I'm out of the bed, I got it, I want to watch the phone. Taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. And I just call you just to leave for me to call you. If I'm in the club, I gotta follow me. So this is our penultimate bout of this evening, Abe Renton and Nathan Gilmore. About 15 of the night. We have in the ring. We have Nathan Gilmore. And in the blue corner, I'm sorry, in the red corner representing Juries and Rowan, E. Brinton. This is a 64 kilogram program bit. And so we are free two minutes a week and your referee feeds two minutes and your referee is Barry Murphy. Yes! 
Dios la que es. So final 10 seconds of round number one. So I've not started eating that peppies yet, so that's no why I was quiet. I'm just um, some technical stuff coming up. So guys, you're watching the Dooney's Boxing Cup Home Show here at the Grosvenor Hotel. Uh, we've got one more bout after this. It's going to be round number two, about number 14, 15 on the card. Uh, and I'll be back at the GBs tomorrow, um, very early as we get going about 11 o'clock. Big shot slanted. Body shot there. If um, he has the instruction coming for his corner. to really uh, from big shots that he moved two at the body one to the head as Nathan Gilmore looks to the spawn so this is three three minute rounds we got to the final ten seconds of rounds Number two. So guys, just enough time. We have a wee chat with Jay Stewart, just picked up a one. He's home, so Jay, how are you feeling? Hey, I'm top of the world, mate. I've, I've, it's class. I'm loving life right now. Um, I was speaking to uh, Lucas Seller about you in Ireland. How, uh, for people that won't be following the social media, how did that go for you? Uh, well, good trip here. I topped the bill over in Ireland against the club's top boy. And a close fight, could have went either way. I thought I obviously edged it, but judges didn't see it that way. But so you were awarded bout of the year, uh, that Dooney's, was, that uh, was for, for that, that bout. Um, it's been a, a great day for me, a bit long day for me. There's two more bouts left. Have you had the chance to watch what's going on here? Eh, uh, not really. I've been back in there, but for what I've saw, this is a, it's quite a close fight. Do you know what I mean? They're going like punch for punch. Like There's big shots that landed. Any shout outs before we go? Uh, shout out to my sponsor again, like last time. Uh, Premier Sports. Yeah. There we go. We're going to pass back now. There we go, right? Um, <laughs> and shout out to your dad as well. He's been doing a great job emceeing. Uh, we'll give him a. We'll give him a. He's doing all right. Um, so, Jay, thanks for talking to me. I'll catch up with you again shortly, yeah? So, back in for round, third and final round here. About number 15, A. Brenton and Nathan Gilmore.
Really gone for it now. Times this seems like a very close bar. Big left to landed. Then no ten seconds around. Number three is both. Boxers pick up some points. I think this may be close. Abnew swinging, big, massive right landing there, just as the bell sounds. Real pass to Darren Stewart in the ring. The official announcement. Once again, guys, please show your appreciation to both the boxers. Again, that is another magnificent by both boxers who have been in that ring. The sponsor for this bout is Eddie Eats, so if you want to make your way up to the banners, we'll get a trophy presentation and pictures done up there. And the winner of this bout, by a unanimous decision, in the red corner, it is Rachel! Once again guys, please show your appreciation to Nathan Gilmore for Shire Boxing Club. And then guys, if you go up to the panels, you'll get your pictures and that taken up there, trophy presentation and all that up in there. Okay guys, that is us on to the last bout of this evening. Can the jury, uh, the jury, can the boxers please make their way to the ring please? This evening, we have in the blue corner representing Mid Lothian Boxing Club, who is Sepper and Zach Sally. And we have in the red corner representing Juries and Rutherford, Jamie Abbey. Referee Kelly Murphy, this is a 63 kilogram boat, elite boat, three. Two minute rounds. To go, the main event of the evening, Jamie Doody and Zach Scarley.
A few seconds around number one. So we're going to round number two here for the main event. Jimmy Dury in the red corner. And Zach Scarf from Midlovian in the blue. This is our final bout of this evening. That's what main event means, in case you didn't know. Uh, visit jtvlive.com to nominate your box of the year. You can buy tickets as well. jtvlive.com forward slash tickets. Or sponsorship information for five more award sponsors. Jimmy Dury's been coaching um, the past year or so. Um, well, officially he's, he's coaching. I think he's always been assisted with the club with his grandfather, Archie Dury. Um, he is a nice guy, uh, Jamie. I've had a few chats from outside the ring as well. But the last year or so he's, he's improved a lot as well. I think the coaching does that. It gives you another set of ideas or eyes that you wouldn't normally consider. So we're about to go into our final, always mess this up, I don't know why I say it, uh, the final round of the final bout of this evening. Guys, you've been watching JTV Live's coverage of the Dury's Boxing Cup Home Show here at the Grosvenor Hotel in the heart of Glasgow. Tomorrow I'll be at the GB Youth and Junior uh, Three Nation Championships. And we'll be there from 11 o'clock. I need to set up, I need to go there earlier to set up, that's the thing. Oh, dreading it, I'll be shattered tomorrow. My voice is starting to go as well. I've not even tucked into my peppies yet. So, Zach Scarry from Midlovia in the blue corner. Uh, Jamie Dury from Dury's Boxing Club in the red. Uh, shout out to Angela Gilmore who's watching online. So we've got to the final round. Nice shot there from Zach Scarry as he gets in and out. Still a lot of energy with these two.
Could be a close one for the judge. He's nice one up for Zach Scarry. Final 10 seconds of round number three. Jamie's mouth guard goes. And the bell goes as soon as it's restarted. Well, now both boxers will pass to Darren Stewart with the official announcement in the ring. Once again, guys, please show your appreciation to both boxers. It's time to place to get in this ring and give all that. The sponsor of this fight, the Mocha Uppercut, can you please make your way up to the banners? We will do a trophy presentation and photo opportunity here. Two guys, I was left, two guys, two winner of this bout by a unanimous decision. In the red corner, <laughs> And once again guys, please show your appreciation for Zach Starling from McMillan, the Living Version Club, that is magnificent. So guys, that's it for me. Um, I'm going to have to pack up and go up the road as soon as I can. I'll leave the ring cab running, um, just so you can see the closing moments of the event. But I'll see you tomorrow. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to support us, head over to Facebook, uh, JTV Live, 349 a month. You can subscribe or you can donate to our GoFundMe. It's up to you. Buy me a coffee. My coffees are, are 3.49. Um, listen, um, I'm shattered. I'm going to go eat quickly. Go him, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. I have two more trophies to announce for tonight's show. We have the best team boxer and the best away boxer. These boxers were picked by the Boxing Scotland judges. So, I'll start with the best away boxer. And the best away boxer goes to Jay Black from Stockton and Dirt Boxing Club. Well done, Jay Black. Well, he is no longer than he's away, so um, they're going to get the tattoo box. They're going to get the trophy to him. The best home boxer. Best one boxer for juries, Josh Gardner! <laughs> I just made myself out to the ring. Can we get your best phone boxer for the night? So well done there, Josh Gardner. Ping up. Best home boxer. I'd like to start the trophy once you guys right. First and foremost, we need to know you know what to know say sometimes. We see who's left in touches. We do our rest of nothing. We give up through your time. Well done to the rest of the judges of the news. I'm on the front of the past three. And I'd like to appreciate these new folks, the judges. Yes, thank you folks. And the public, we will be a few years, but not my friend. Thanks very much, guys. See you next time. Okay guys, that is all done for this evening. 
Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much for digging deep into your pockets and helping support these boxers of June's boxing club. Do you hear me, son? Everybody fancy you want to step by son? So guys, that's it from us. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, click like and subscribe.